All right, folks, today we're going to be talking about the Liverpool Chelsea Allen Emin boots. It's built on the V taper, flexible sole. <laughs> God. What up you guys, this is my studio right here. I'm actually shooting uh, a scene for my next video. Just wanna kinda give you guys a little bit of what I got going on here. I got my road link right here. Um, and this is my wireless mic. Have it attached to my hip right here. And then I have the lavalier going up to my uh, shirt here. Um, I'm all dressed up for the set. Got my pair of shades right here. And uh, I kind of like to do things a little bit different too. I kind of like to give a little bit of an effect. So you'll kind of see it on the video as when it's completed, the way that the light hit my eye. And it kind of looks like a computer. It kind of looks like I was looking at a computer screen. And that's what's so unique about it. When you, when you become creative, and I'm in my closet. Look, I'm in my wife's closet shooting this. Now, let me show you how I did that one scene where I leaned up against the wall real quick. And this is for all you uh, aspiring directors, producers, whatever. I'm just showing you that you don't really need to go to any kind of school. You just have to have a creative mindset. Now, let me show you how I did that one scene. I'll break it down for you and uh, give you an idea of how I shot that scene. So you can get a warm and fuzzy of exactly what was going on. I know it's turning this thing around here, but I want to tighten it up a little bit. So there we go. I think that's good right there. So let me see if I can get it far back. So as I was shooting the scene, you guys, I'm going to show you here real quick. Hope I can make it quick. Cause I know people don't like to wait. So as, as, as I was talking in there, I was leaning up against the closet like this. All right, and then I had my little earpiece. Um, where is it? Here it is. I had this, this is a headphones. This is a, uh, <laughs> a Jara or whatever headset, wireless. Had it in my ear like this. And I was just leaning up against the closet like this with the camera pointing at my side profile. And I had my head canted a little, canted a little bit towards the um, the light here and as you can see you'll see the reflection in my my glasses and glasses are really good to use when you're shooting um, you know movies and it all depends on how you do it um, again you have to be creative here's my lights right here I closed out the blinders to uh, you know kind of lessen the amount of light in the closet and it gives it kind of a nighttime effect and as you can see like I said I'm in my wife's closet <laughs> and uh, yeah good effect so uh Stay tuned for more. All right, for this scene, um, I did it outside of the car. So it's going to have a dramatic effect because the light's going to be kind of hitting off the windshield and with the shadows a little bit coming down. Now, right now, it's uh, it's about 2 o'clock. So the sun is, um, my house is east to west. So the sun is literally now going over my house and more towards, pointing towards west. So I kind of have like a nice shadow effect going on right now. The sun's not really hitting directly. And as you can see here, um, here's how I have it set up right here. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually rolling in a Chevy, not actually a GMC Acadia. So this is not a sports car by any means, you guys. But it's all about editing and how you put everything together. That's what's important. But uh, as again, as you can see, I have my camera set up here again. And by the way, this is a, a A6500 that I have set up. And as you can see, uh, got it pointing in front of my my car here my truck with a back up right here and that's the scene right there and again I want to show you guys this is the GMC uh, Acadia but that's the scene right there so 
you got to be creative people you got to be creative when you're when you're putting together a movie or a small film or anything of that sort you have to be creative uh you got to find ways to kind of make the scene look interesting so uh that's pretty much what i'm doing right now and as you can see i'm gonna show you guys i'm in flip-flops it's gonna look really professional it's gonna look really professional when i'm done with it so uh now on to the next scene i gotta do a scene where i'm kind of propped up shooting out the window so that's gonna be a good scene so stay tuned stay tuned all right so that's that one engaging target Engage in target. Okay, for this scene, I kind of did like a, um, uh, what's it called here? Um, you know, I just did it like a little scene. So I have the camera propped up here again. Okay, as you can see, and you can see the footage right there. You can see on my camera as well, I got it zoomed in. So this is a, a zoom lens right here, okay? Um, it's an 18 to 105, as you can see there. And it's a Sony. And then of course I have my, my uh, wireless microphone, which I have hooked up here. So when I'm talking, You'll hear my voice and all that good stuff. So I have it kind of cocked, kind of canted off to the side so that you don't get too much bass in there. And then, um, like I said, I'm just kind of doing this, the motions, doing the scene, and I can incorporate that in my footage. So it's going to look really, really good. It's 4, 4K, um, and I'm going to do a little bit of color correction on it as well. So it's going to look really, really professional. Got the boxes in the back, got the car seats in the back. And I'm going to show you guys how I can make this into a uh like a sports car okay it's gonna look like a sports car it looks gonna look like i'm driving a sports car by the way so without further ado stay tuned for the next i'm on my way i will eliminate the target and return to base over out